So today should be the last day for the lip install. I really only have two more mounts that I need to make and weld up, and then it's gonna be 100% ready to get the bumper back on there and to drive it around and see how it does. So as you saw in the previous video, I made these here, and they're mounted up here into the chassis. Well, I'm gonna make another mount that goes to this bolt. That way, this thing can't tilt at all, and it'll be really strong. But in order to have this come down and amount to anything structural, uh, since there isn't anything holding the top of this other than on the sides here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it out and uh, line it up so that I have another piece of the square tubing going from this square tubing to the one in the back, have it go through the sheet metal and then tie into that. So basically I'm gonna take what I have left over and I'm gonna use this to mount up into the car and have the hole. And then I'm gonna weld this to a piece of square tubing, have that go down through the splitter and that's gonna to attach to the other square piece of tubing we're gonna put in today. gonna eyeball some uh, tubing from there to there, weld that up, throw it in there, get that all welded up, then weld everything together, and then bolt it up, and that's it. And then hopefully we can take it for a ride. I don't know how I'm gonna get down in here to be able to weld. Well, what are you going to be welding it to? Stuff. Okay, <laughs> makes sense.
So now that we got all the excess material cut off of this thing, uh, we can go ahead and throw it on there, bolt it all up, and that's pretty much it after we put the bumper on. Uh, definitely a little sketchy, so we're gonna put this on, get that on, get it off of the wood, and then do the bumper. Okay. Okay. This thing's like pretty freaking solid. All right, well, let's bolt it up. That shit ain't going nowhere. That was like a lot of force. I probably put like a solid 50 pounds on there. Nice. Back and forth. <clears throat> Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure that we show how like perfect this is like this side has like maybe like a quarter inch or maybe I would say quarter inch I'd say like half an inch left over on this side and it's exactly the same on this side for not being mounted to the bumper at all that's pretty damn accurate for how much we really eyeballed it was all eyeballed so we got the new lip all mounted up and it's super sturdy for how it's mounted. I understand that it's not gonna be like crazy sturdy just because of the way we mounted it and then it has a little bit of leverage if anything were to like, you know, step on it or anything. I'm not concerned that anything's gonna break and it is significantly high off the ground. It's probably a solid like three inches off the ground. So I doubt I'm gonna be scraping anything too bad. It does stick out a little bit longer than the other lip that I had previously. Uh, so it might scrape just because of that, but other than that, we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Uh, as you could probably tell, it's dark out, and we're not going to be taking it for a ride today, but we're going to make sure to do that in the next video. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and peace out.